<clears throat> well, hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. I've got a mess here because I'm unpacking and halfway through I thought, well, I should cover some of this stuff in a video and share with you how blessed I am, really. As you all know, I guess, that I've been to the Barzi Summer Bash in California and I've been on a couple of other shopping tri trips too. Uh, it's a crazy trip and you should try and make it next year it is an open event all you got to do is get your name in get a receipt pay your money for entry and save some money for swap meet tables and for raffle tickets and I guarantee that you'll come out in front um, and you get to hang with some great guys. It's, it's awesome. Um, I spent a couple of days, or three or four days, staying at a in a hall, in a rebuilt loft, I guess, in California, uh, in LA, uh, just out of downtown, which is within the 50 block homeless radius so it was a bit of a dive but it was cheap and it was fun and I did some shopping in LA um, probably more than I should have went out to littlemachineshop.com in Pasadena stocked up really did actually first real purchase was this and I've been looking for one of these for a while um, this is to suit my mill it's Morse Taper 3 as a uh, 32 collet set and it looks to be a nice one I think I hope so I haven't really even played with that it's got a spanner got a collet chuck, it's got a set of collets, they're imperial, I think they're eight through to three quarter, something like that. 11, 16, what's that one's? Three quarter, I think. So they're to go in my mill, uh, for end mills, things like that. That's a, got the right size hole for a drawbar, have to make a drawbar for it. That's one thing I picked up. Um, littlemachineshop.com Went out there and it's nice to actually play with things and to to have a good look before you actually buy one. So that was a good thing to do and I was pleased I went out. Didn't get any video, sorry guys, but that's one thing I bought. The other thing I bought is in this little box. This is a hold down kit for my meal. It was dirt cheap and I was only going to buy Really, I kind of kept upgrading this. I was really only going to buy these, which are Z blocks for clamping down a toolmaker's vise or, or any sort of vise in, in the mill. And I picked them up, but I ended up buying a, a hold down kit, which has got a couple of bars and a couple of T nuts and a couple of studs, a couple of nuts for the top and some some little ramps and a couple of different sizes so that wasn't really expensive and it looks like a nice gear it's Chinese but you can probably buy it other places but that's something I've been looking for for a while on these two so didn't spend a lot of money but I did buy some stuff also, when I was in LA, I went to um, the last bookshop in downtown LA. Awesome place to visit if you're interested in books. It's it's one of those got to visit places, really. I only picked these up um, because of storage and cash space constraints. But a couple of chalk lettering books or blackboard chalk lettering books, which are really nice to have. So. That's kind of awesome. It's good to get them and they're a lot cheaper 
than they would be in Australia. So Wednesday I went out, Wednesday afternoon I went out to the bash, out to stands at, at Rancho Cucamonga. Um, get in touch next year because it's, it's an awesome week and um, the Friday and Saturday good courses on the Friday and then lots to see and do. I lost my voice on Saturday night um, to the point that yeah I'm I'm sort of feeling a bit hoarse already still so and it's four or five days later. The swap meet was open well when they were setting up and we were there and Andrew Padaka actually had this box I paid ten dollars for it and that was my secondary luggage to bring stuff home. It's a Craftsman. Um, it's quite a nice box. It needs a little bit of work. It could do with a coat of paint. It's a bit rusty. Um, it might get a bit of a go over. Um, I'm not sure it'll be Hammertone Grey again, but it might get a custom art job. You know me. Andrew also had all these gauge bins. Now, these are all odd sizes, 390 thou, um, 608 thou, 607, 386, 370, 389, 383, 529, etc. Uh, these are... And someone asked me, why did you buy a lot of odd gauge blocks or gauge pins? And because I'm kind of, what I do, I'm making two things to fit together or two things the same. I'm not really making something to drawings ever. So having an assortment of these as a go-no-go -no -go gauge for a bore just cuts down on time. And I can make something that fits that pin and or find a pin that, fits the hole that I've bored and then I can make the other hole to match so I paid a dollar each for them thanks Andrew that's a score I'm really pleased to have them so first thing comes out of here is my trusty luggage scale this one's just got a spring in it don't buy a battery one because every time you want to use it, it's got a flat battery you've got to go and buy a battery just before you go away and that's just a pain in the neck. This will stand some punishment and they're cheap, they're like $3. There's some travel advice from me. Go and get yourself one and then you know if you're going to be over, stop, overweight on the way back from the bash. I've started emptying some of this stuff out of here so we're just going to go through it a bit. Ask Stephen Lang, Shark River Machine made a special effort to bring these brushes these are sword stripers three different sizes there's a two and an o and a one i think they're mac they're good quality um i think they're camel or screw here they're camel hair um nice striping brushes very very precious nice to have them thanks Stephen. good to catch up with you um hope you brought took home lots from the bash too because these were just nice to have and thank you so much. Tom Lipton had a a trade store. Uh, I brought back some stuff from him. This little number drill drill egg to inch 60 to number one to number 60 number drill index. Bit of a score. Um, don't know about these drills that are in there. I have to have a fiddle around with them and see which ones are stuck or whatever. There's some left in there, but there's a few of them are broken anyway in my set. But good to have another one, and I've probably got enough drills to fill it up. So it's the same as the one I've already got. Which is this one here. It's a bit later model, but it's a Huot 2. 160 might be a little bit older Tom also had a, a tap wrench 
There's a ratchet tap wrench, which I've been looking for for a long time. It's quite big, but it's got a, a clicky hole in the middle, which is cool too. It's a nice tap wrench. I don't know if it's labelled. It is. It's a TRW made in USA. I might pull this to bits and make one, actually, a smaller one, because ratcheting tap wrench is always pretty useful. And I've been looking for one. This little set of boring bars come from Tom as well. Um, they're 3H shank, I think, I hope. Um, car solid carbide. Really nice set. We've got plans for them. And this come from Tom too. This is for John Creasy. Um, he must have bought this. I'm supposed to deliver it. Just a clue about what it is. You can bug him for... He's down in Sydney. You can bug him for for a review or, or answers or whatever. Um, I'm going to post that off to him. Of course, there's always the the walk the talk T slot cleaner from Keith Fenner. Lucky enough to get one of them too. It's really nice, limited edition one. He's got Keith Fenner's got them for sale. I believe if you bug Tom enough, you'll be able to get you these little mini plates too. But go and check out his channel. There was another another boring bar I picked up too. This is really nice. This is from Solid Rock, uh, Solid Rock Machine Shop. They have a YouTube channel. They do a lot of make a lot of tooling and nice stuff. This is a nice little boring bar. It's it's not very big. It's got an insert in it and a screw. It's engraved Solid Rock Machine Shop. Go and check out his channel. I'm going to do a review of that. Um, this and these are probably going to be part of the same project at some point. So that's a job. These bits mostly are all part of a machine that I acquired. Um, that's in the post and I'm going to do a proper video on that when it comes so we'll close that drawer again as is this and this and that I picked this up um, in one of the swap meat stands it was $18 I think it's well worth having it's a little 90 degree top and bottom uh, bevel cutter a double angle cutter for um, chamfering parts and putting slots in stuff like that. Got jobs for that. So that was that was a score as well. So I picked up some stickers to send to John for the the group, the photo of the week giveaway. Um, he kind of saves them up. I only got one of these, but this is a Jimmy DeResta stencil, so I'm not sure I'm going to give that away. Got some other stickers too. Old Iron Lover. He put a um, an entry in my tool making competition last year. Really enjoyed that. It was a little pan break, a bake, um, sheet metal folding machine. Um, nice to catch up with him. I got his sticker, so I'll put that up in a minute. I got a No Bozo sticker. Um, I'll put that up somewhere prominent. It's probably a good idea. All industrial sticker. All industrial sponsored a lot of the raffle prizes. I actually didn't win very much. But this was the one thing that I did win. Is a nice 5 8 miles taper 3 drill chuck so that'll probably go in the mill don't know if I've got a lot of other use for it it may go I don't know it might go in the drill drill press but I don't think it will and it's got a spanner so that was a bit of a score um, buy a few raffle tickets you don't come home if you do go to the bash if you don't come home empty handed so that's pretty nice. I 
I bought these off Stan Zinkowski. Um, these are carbide inserts, round ones. I had this thought that I was going to make a um, like a shear cutter almost for the shaper using something like this. So hold the phones that that might just happen. Stan also gave me a couple of stickers. There's this year's bash sticker and last year's bash sticker, which I never had. They might go on this on this box with the custom paint job yet. And Michael Wiggins sent some stickers too and a t-shirt. So that was really nice because it's good to catch up with him. I've supported him for a long time on his Patreon channel and his YouTube channel. He does some cool stuff. Go out and check him out. Backyard Machine Shop. I'm not supposed to show you this unless I kill you, but this was a sticker that I procured. Um, I believe that it's about the only one left. I'm pretty lucky to get it. I'm not sure I'm going to put, even put it on a board. We might just put it away. But this is the Clash of the Bash sticker, and there wasn't very many of those. So they're a bit lucky about that. Stan also gave me this little plate with um, Crow Nameplate Manufacturing Company. It's a lithograph decimal equivalent chart on brass. I've got to put that up somewhere. Don't know where yet. Another thing that Stan sent was this. And I feel pretty blessed to, to have friends like this. And anyone would would be blessed to, to even spend a day with Stan. But I've, I've had a lucky week. And... This is a cylinder square, so it's only a little one, but it is nice and accurate, and it'll be a very, very useful thing. Thanks, Stan, for that. It's much appreciated, and we'll do some videos about that later on. There's also a piece of DOM tube drawn over mandrel, something we don't probably see very much in Australia. It's a seamless, heavy wall um, chrome molly tube. I've got a project for this and we'll get onto that fairly soon too. There's always projects. Brought home another lanyard with the Danny Metz's special, special artwork on it. I'm a bit lucky to get that too. It's good to see you Danny. We'll put this aside. Where else do I even go? This really pretty thin goblet, wooden goblet, got home in one piece. I believe that's probably cherry. And this box too, got home in one piece. Um, it says this is rose. I'm not sure about the rest. It's a nice, nice fiddle pattern in it. Nice box with nice hinges. This was a present from a lady named Janet, um, who I met at the bash. Thanks lots for for such pretty things, and I'll put them up somewhere. This will get used on my bedside table, I think. And we got this home piece in one piece, so I'm pretty pretty pleased about that. gentleman with a YouTube channel called Robbie Sydney, um, R-O-B-I-S-Y-D-N-E-Y, who's always a pleasure to catch up with and someone I think I could learn a lot from, but um, he comes and goes, he's like, like the wind, but we always seem to start, leave off, we'll start the conversation where we left off. He sent some electronic components which are pretty cool. Um, in the bag here there's a wireless camera and a receiver I've got some projects for this believe me I've got some projects for this and a Wi-Fi smart stick switch which is also kind of cool and I've got some projects for that too or one project in particular you also send a clip, um, like a big safety pin. I believe this is something to do with the US military. 
I'm not sure about that. Someone will set me straight, probably Robert. But there's some cool things for him. Um, get my thinking cap on about them. There was a parcel here waiting for me at, at Barzi um, with a letter, a nice letter from Matt Parker. Um, and two pieces of cardboard holding some nicely packed vintage ink pens which he thought had my name on them and thank you very much for that, they're really nice. Um, to be honest I haven't really gone through them and sat down and had a good look with a magnifying glass and seen what sort of sizes or anything they are. But there's a few pieces there and they were nice to get so thank you very much. Thanks for sending them and I knew you were wondering whether they arrived. So at that stage, that's probably all I'm going to unpack tonight. There probably will be some more stuff. Um, there's a lot of junk. This box is going to get... Most of it actually was really good stuff as far as junk goes. It's, it's top quality merchandise and I'm feeling very, very, very lucky. But um, some of this stuff's going to get posted off. Um, on Wednesday on Tuesday I did a tour of the Sherline factory and I posted that video up bad as it was and I really apologize for the seasick motion my gimbal which I was going to use had a broken broken micro USB on it so I couldn't charge it so that was right out of the question it just didn't happen so you ended up with shaky video cam no tripod no nothing and of course you've got to look where you're walking in a factory so you can't just sort of concentrate 100% on the video. So that's what you've got. It was a, I think I enjoyed the video and I come out of it fairly impressed with Sherline machines. Um, they're there in, in Carlsbad, um, just down the road really from, from LA. Worth going and have a look. Check out that video. Uh, I had a parcel of things, a little box of pieces that I, I bought spent $250 or something US on on this little box of bits which is going to be sent out to David Few. Big thanks David for all you've done on this trip. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I'll get these to you as soon as I can. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. There's a lot of junk here. Um, a lot of good stuff. There's more to come but while I can get all this packed up now and I can put it away and put it in its rightful place, I won't have to find it all again to make a video, so there you go, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, be kind to each other, and more soon guys and girls.